Hello iPore community, this is Vlad from the iPore Labs team and today I'm recording this super short video uh, where I would like to walk you through the interface of the iPore app um, and kind of show you how to open swaps using using the uh, the interface. So I'm I'm performing this demo on the Gurley testnet but the interface is identical on the mainnet um, so don't focus too much on the numbers that you see here and the percentages. Uh, these are not the, the actual ones. You, you can have find the actual, one, the actual ones if you go to either the website or app.ipor.io. So without too much introductions, let me jump right into it. So if you go to the app and you have not connected the wallet, this is the screen you're going to see. It has information about the benchmark rates and then how much liquidity and what are the APRs uh, in the different pools. Um, and then the next thing you need to do, if you want to yeah, open a swap, you need to connect the wallet. As you can see, it kind of happens very quickly. Um, the interface, I may say, is excellent. It's super snappy. It's um, basically being updated on a block per block basis so uh, yeah if there is any from some uh, chain on chain information that is relevant to your portfolio it will be updated um, with each block so if if you have something like a position uh, like an open swap or uh, you have deposited liquidity in, uh, in in the pools you will see this portfolio page um, where your positions are kind of displayed um, and here you can see PNL and then uh, how much liquidity you've provided, the APR for the last, last uh, 30 days and so on. Um, on the upper right side, you see a distribution of like on which markets you have swaps. And currently I have only on, on Dida, so that's why 100% is kind of displayed here. And then information again about the rates, um, what are the current, basically the current IPORs. And then what you need to do is go to the swaps section and here is where you um, can open a swap. Uh, you have three, uh, three markets. Currently ETH is coming, um, but yeah, we have USDC, USDT and DAI. And you can notice that when you like kind of switching uh, through, through the different markets, the interface is updated in the color of that specific market. And then also your wallet here changes. Um, displaying the, the relevant wallet balance. And here on using the charts, you can um, kind of focus on what, what has been happening in the last hour, 24 hours a week. So kind of be more specific or yeah, like look, look at things uh, from, from a higher perspective. Uh, so, and, and then the additional information here is like how much notional. This means that uh, basically how many uh, swaps are opened and and well, not the number of swaps, but basically the, the amount that they are actually referencing. So, um, um, and, now, and, and you see what I mean um, in a bit. Um, and then we have uh, the pay fixed and receive fixed legs of, uh, that are currently being offered by the autom aut automated market maker. And then we have medium value and standard deviation, which kind of, both of which kind of te tell you what is the, what is the volatility of, of, this, of this rate. And then very importantly, we have a hedge, hedge calculator. And that's really a brilliant way to kind of simulate uh, a swap position and um, before actually opening it. So let's input a, a collateral amount here. Let's say uh, 200 USDC. And you can see that your notional exposure will be 100,000 USDC. And this notional exposure is based on the collateral factor. So you can either reduce it uh, or you can uh, increase it here. So one side note, this leverage of 1000X is really not the same as leverage uh, on perpetuals. Um, generally, interest rate swaps are much less volatile. So it's much harder to get liquid liquidated uh, than in comparison to perpetuals. Of course, the risks are there. And if you're interested about the risks, please go to the docs section and um, read about them or go to the blog. We have an, uh, several excellent pieces about the risks of using uh, the iPOR app. Um, so 
the notional amount is basically the, the, the reference amount on which this percentage point, which is the benchmark, will be calculated on. So if you decide to go with pay fixed, you will, um, in, in 28 days, we will, you will pay 1.63 by 200,000. And this will be your cost. And whether you make a profit or not depends on the, on the floating rate, which will be the, um, the IPO rate. And this is the current IPO rate displayed here. And then you can use this uh, field here to simulate an average rate for the duration of your open swap, which is currently 28 days max. So, but before like going into that, you have two options. You either can pay fixed or you can receive fixed. So if you decide to pay to pay to pay a fixed rate, you're basically longing the index. So you believe that the index will um, so, so the index so the variable rate the IPOR will be above what above this rate here. And if you go to receive fixed, you are shorting the rate. So you 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 will be getting this rate, and you believe that the IPOR for the average IPOR for 28 days will be below this rate. So let's say you decide to go with pay fixed. This is your leverage. This is your collateral. This is the notional. And let's say the average rate um, will be 1.8. Yeah, as, as it is here. But you can you can write whatever you want. Like you can change this here. And if and as you're changing it, this right say uh, right hand side also changes. So. If the average rate is 1.9 and you're paying, paying a fix of 1.63, you'll get an APY, APY of 240%, which will be um, an actual profit of 36 USDC. So the calculator is really invaluable to kind of um, predict or try to predict what's going to happen and what position, uh, yeah, what, what your position needs to look like. So once you have pre-filled the information here, also super conveniently, um, you can press open swap, the open swap button, and all of this will be pre-filled in the actual open swap field. And here, yeah, you have a lot of information, but it's if it's too much, you can use this toggle button to kind of make it, yeah, uh, <laughs> less uh, sensory aggra aggressive, I guess. Um, and again, you can see everything that you have pre-filled in, um, in, um, in, in the calculator here. So you can all, uh, open the swap immediately. Um, another important thing is pot potentially the, uh, is, is the URL here. And if you copy this URL, you can send it to anyone and they will be able to open a pre-filled position on their end. So this is also very convenient. Um, if you want to, like you, you kind of create a position for someone else and then copy the URL and send them to s send it to them and they can open it immediately uh, with the pre-filled information. So this is uh, the yeah again wh when you when you when you switch here from simple to uh, from advanced to simple, it kind of take kind of like points out that you are making a prediction that the rates will go up or the rates will go down. In this case, we believe the rates will go up. Um, so, and, and, and we will be paying this 1.63% rate. And if the rates are higher than this on average, uh, we will be in profit. And then the fee and deposit also important. So you can see here, this is, this will be the total cost. And that's the, these 37 are coming from, because 200 is your collateral and 37 is coming from an opening fee and a liquidation deposit. The liquidation deposit is refundable. So if you close your swap within 28 days, which is the maximum maturity, um, these 25 will be uh, refunded to you. So um, this is it. I've already actually approved this wallet in MetaMask, so I don't have to go through that again. Um, so, uh, but you will have to if you, are, you, if you haven't this, done this already. So you just press open swap, the familiar MetaMask window appears. Um, and then, yeah, let's confirm this. And, and you can see the interface is updated. You have a, like uh, a new entry in this uh, swap table here with all the information that we just filled in uh, and the maturity. And as soon as the transaction goes through, 
um, yeah, this um, this table will be updated, and there'll be um, yeah uh, another actually option that I can demonstrate on a on a different swap. Usually on Ethereum, this should take about 12 seconds. On Girly, um, yeah, might be more, might be less. But yeah, let's assume, uh, and, and you can see here your transaction is pending. Uh, now it's done, uh, so you can uh, immediately close the swap if you want to. You can close it at any time. And if you press here, you see a chart. Let me demonstrate how that chart looks like. Like what the, what, it, what does it look like uh, on a currently open position? Yeah, you can see here that you you've been kind of losing, or this position has been losing for a few days, but then. Uh, uh, it went to um, in positive territory and currently yeah, the PNL is uh, 23. So you'll be able to see this um, as time uh, progresses for your uh, newly opened swap. And as I said, you can press here to close the swap um, at any time and you will be refunded your $25. So um, and then information about when it was opened and how long it has been opened for. So um, yeah, that's it. I think, um, I, I hope this was uh, useful. If you have any questions, please join us on Discord and ask there. Uh, we'll make sure you get, uh, we get you um, yeah, ready to open or close uh, swaps on the uh, iPor app in no time. So this is it. Thank you guys. I hope it was useful again and see you on Discord. Bye bye.